welcome to the stage, Judith Lucy. Hello, Melbourne. I, uh, I recently made a, a move on a gentleman after a bit of a big night. You know what, to be completely honest with you, he was passed out in my bed. I mean, that's like a self-sourcing pudding, isn't it? Actually, I'll tell you, first time I got lucky after my long-term relationship broke up, true story, I had a couple of friends staying with me. And this particular evening, when I didn't come home, after having gone to a party, they called the hospitals. <laughs> That's right, my friend thought it was more likely that I'd been involved in a horrific accident than that a man might actually want to have sex with me. <laughs> you know how you know you're old? You go to bed one night and you're a tasteful, intelligent person with a sense of humour. You wake up the next day and you want to get a DVD of Andre Rieu. <laughs> I really do feel that becoming an Andre Rieu fan is like saying, OK, I'm preparing for death. <laughs> but I'll tell you what I do enjoy seeing. I enjoy seeing an older person who's relaxed in their own skin. Because recently I saw an elderly woman, and God knows, not a small woman. Indeed, her legs could have been part of an ancient temple. And she was sitting in a park and she had a couple of old guys on either side of her and they were all having ciggies. And look, they'd clearly all seen better days, but they were just killing themselves about something. And you know, it was like this beautiful sunny day and I was in a car that happened to be driving past and I thought, oh, it's so great when you see a group of people just having a real belly laugh. She's not wearing any underpants. <laughs> Good morning, I thought. <laughs> that has certainly woken me up. But you know, then I thought about it and I thought, oh, men have been showing me their genitals for years. <laughs> you know, in laundromats, walking past alleyways, strangers. <laughs> These weren't dates or anything. <laughs> so in many ways, it made a pleasant change. You know? It's not like she was going, cop a load of this. Roll up, roll up. And who's to say that I won't wake up at 70, go, it's a sunny day, my box could use some vitamin D. <laughs> Thank you very much.